Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick how-to video on cleaning and restoring your old and worn Doc Martens. Now, I picked these up at a, um, a charity store in Paris about a week ago for about 40 euros, and it's got really, really nice patina to them. As you can see, nice and worn, all the stitching's together, nothing drastic, and the soles have plenty of life left in them. These are the vintage. 1460s, so made in England. Um, the leather has been cared for. Feels pretty nice, but I'll just do a quick how to clean video. Okay, so this is everything you'll need for the for the job today. So I've got a pretty coarse brush, a soft brush, um, new laces. These ones are pretty ratty, and we're going to be using the uh, Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. Uh, this is all natural ingredients made of uh, coconut oil beeswax and lanolin, so we'll give that a go, and of course, new insoles, these are the classic from Doc Martens, uh, they've got a gel bed, also they um, give a little bit of arch support, make these a little bit comfier, um, they're also really good if the shoe is about maybe half a size too big, which these are on me, so I'll use these to pad these out a little bit, um, yeah. Okay, so first things first, just uh, remove the old laces. There we go. Now you can clean the laces. Um, in this case, as you can see, they're kind of a bit ratty. These have definitely seen some wear. So uh, we're replacing them. So now grab a medium bristle brush and I just start by getting all the dirt and grime, dust. Of everywhere you can, so behind the tongue, especially inside, and then concentrating, especially down here in the uh, the stitching area, it does tend to collect a lot of dust, especially if they've been um, conditioned or waxed, oiled um, previously. Dust will stick a little bit, so get in there as best you can. Okay, there you are. Most of the dirt and dust off, as you can see, especially around the stitching area. Anywhere the dust can get in, um, spend a little bit more time and effort trying to get it out. Um, this is pretty good. So, from here, I'm just going to give the, uh, the leather a quick wash. Now you can use like a saddle soap um, or a specific leather cleaner. In this case, um, I kind of like the patina and like the feel of it so far, so I'm not going to give it too much of a wash. I'm just going to use uh, warm water. Okay, so they're all washed up now, nice and clean, no dirt, no debris, pay attention to your soles again, get them all nice and clean as well, um, yeah, so just feeling all good, just, uh, yep, now just put these off to the side, out of direct sunlight, just let them dry up naturally, um, should take a couple hours, maybe even, even a whole day, if you've got the time just to leave them. And we'll come back to these when they're dry. And we're back. So it's kind of pretty look, looking pretty nice. Um, as you can see, no dust, no dirt. Looking pretty good, except that piece. So uh, laces, uh, the stitching, sorry, is looking pretty clean now. Um, spend a little bit more time. You can obviously get a little bit more cleaner. I'm um, just doing a quick one here. Um, the boot. Problem areas lie around here, um, especially where these eyelets will rub on the tongue from the laces. Um, so as you can see, the most dried out bits 
are right in these corners and it's the same on this boot as well. Tongue, pretty good condition these boots. Um, really nice patina. So all we're going to do is put this uh, Doc Martens Wonder, Wonder Balsam on. So it comes with this applicator. It's just a pretty medium sponge. Just start off, get a little dollop. Start with that much for now. What you're going to do, just go around, spread it out. Concentrate on these uh, those dry bits that I was just showing you before in there. And we're just going to work this in. Another problem area is uh, this bit right here. It's uh, just a little bit of a difficult area to get to, so you've really got to push in there. Uh, I didn't mention before either, um, try as best as you can not to get the, um, the balsam on the laces. Uh, it just causes them to attract a bit more dust, so they will get a little bit dirtier. So that's the, uh, the first one done for now. Um, I haven't gone too crazy with the product, but um, I'm happy with how much I've got on there at the moment. So I'm just gonna let that sit, let the, uh, the leather absorb that in, and um, by the time we finish the second boot, we'll come back to this boot. All right, well, I've just finished up this second boot. I'm just gonna put it aside as well. Um, I was going to get started on uh, buffing that first boot, but I'm going to leave them for about maybe an hour or so just to let the um, this balsam do its work and condition the leather. I'm pretty impatient, so I gave these about 15-20 minutes from the uh, the first one. So I'm just going to get going on uh, buffing all the uh, the excess balsam off. Uh, concentrating again in these like hard to reach areas, especially like in there, anywhere there's kind of build up you'll find. So, especially around the stitching and the, the sole, uh, anywhere along the heel line as well. So, just using your soft bristle, just um, just work it in. Um, this is going to do two things. It's going to remove this, like, the excess um, build-up. Also, what it's going to do is going to heat up the, the, oil, the oils and the wax, so it'll actually um, massage it into the leather, um, which is going to just condition it even more rejuvenate it and just make it look a hundred times better. So we'll get going on this. So anywhere you see any uh, like dry cracking or any creases just from natural wear, um, just give it a little bit more extra energy. Just really try and get that balsam in there. Um, just to moisturize everything you can. This will avoid any um, problems later on, um, like such as like cracking or splitting um, that can come just from wear and tear. There we go, uh, first boot. Um, it's been moisturized now and buffed back. And I'm really liking it, so we'll just set these aside now. Um, just let the rest of that balsam soak in. I uh, probably should have waited a little bit longer. Um, but oh well, so we'll get started on the second boot now. Cool, all right, well, I've buffed both the boots back now, and they're quite really nice. Um, as you can tell, they have gone a shade or two darker. Um, these were the, the brown vintage Doc Martin 1460s. 
Um, the tan will go to a dark brown, uh, black will go really black. Um, in my next video I'll be doing just a clean and restore of these um, 1460, these are the originals. Uh, the difference is uh, these are made in China, whereas these are made in England. There are a few subtle differences that I'll touch on uh, in the next video, as well as uh, tidy these bad boys up as well. Um, but for now, get on to the next step. Alright, so we're going to be putting um, just some Doc Martin laces into this. I've, uh, I've gone for the 120 centimeter. Um, they recommend the 140 centimeter. I just find them a little too long, so go with the 120s. Um, recommended for 6 to 7 eyelet. So, uh, and I've just gone with the brown as well. Uh, it is a little bit lighter, um, but again, your boots will lighten up um, in like two to three days once um, the leather fully absorbs all that um, all that balsam. So, and there's a million ways you can lace these up. This is the style that I like. There you have it guys, uh, these are all ready to go, so all laced up. Um, there is a little bit of residual um, balsam on these, so I'll give them another buff tomorrow with the um, soft bristle brush, um, and they'll turn out sweet. Plenty of life left in them. So boots will definitely lighten up within the next week or two, um, and within a month they'll definitely be a lot, lot lighter. Um, Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section. Cheers.